Hello everyone, welcome to Press Seal U, the Gasket University. I'm Chris Tomlinson, Marketing Coordinator here at Press Seal. Today I have my friend, my colleague, Nate Kipfer. Nate is a Product Development Engineer here at Press Seal. Nate, thanks for coming on the show. Sure, thanks for having me. I appreciate you being here. So a Product Development Engineer, what do you do at Press Seal? Yeah, so we work with uh, existing and new customers to uh, design and develop uh, underground sealing solutions for the bridge system. Okay, perfect. And today you came on to talk to us about the RFS gasket. What is this gasket used for? Yeah, so you can use this on a uh, concrete manhole or pipe. Um, it's it's uh, placed on the spigot end of the concrete manhole or pipe, and it is a pre-loop gasket, so it has okay. lube inside of the gasket. Okay, so the lubrication inside the gasket does what for a contractor out in the field? How does that help them? So it, uh, it saves a lot of time as far as the lubricating step. It eliminates the lubricating step, um, eliminates the dirt and debris getting saves a lot of time and money. Yeah, definitely, it really does. So let's walk through how we install a RFS gasket. What's the first thing we need to do as far as quality control? So you want the first thing you want to do is you want to look and inspect the joint. Just make sure there's no raised surfaces, no defects in the joint. Um, and then, yeah, after everything checks out, you can go ahead and start installing. Okay, so like on a pipe, it might have been sitting out in the field and it got some dirt on it. You want to make sure that joint's cleaned all the way around, or maybe a manhole set outside for a while, it got some dirt and debris on it. We want to make sure all of this is clean and clear, so that way we can get it on the joint nice and clean for the perfect seal, right? That's right. Okay, perfect. Well, let's, uh, let's install one real quick. How about that? Let's do it. Okay, so we put it up here, correct? Yeah, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you, that, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that the base, or I guess the flat section, is all the way fully seated onto that base. Okay. Um, And typically, it probably takes two people to put this one on. It's it's yeah, it, it it's have a little bit of stretch on it, so. right, right. Okay. So now what? Now we've got it on there. Do what do we need to do as far as quality control with the gasket being on there? So now that the gasket is fully around the manhole, you want to just um, you want to double check that everything is fully seated around. The okay. Yeah. See this here needs to go down a bit. All yeah, right. You can just kind of work it in. Okay. Uh, we do recommend that you take a, kind of an unsharp tool or uh, you can even use your hands and, and just kind of equalize the gasket around. You want to do just kind of a snap. Or we can just do like a snap and pull. That's a common uh, practice I think a lot of people use out in the field. So we're doing that just to equalize it, correct? Okay. Make sure it still seats. Okay. And that's pretty much it then, correct? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow, that was pretty easy. Hey, Nate, thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate you being here, and thank you for watching. And come back soon for another episode of Press Seal U, where you are the reason we are in business.